Greetings, members, one and all. Another unboxing from the United States Mint. This one, I'm not sure if I made a smart move or not. Only time will tell. And uh, But it's one of those things where history is being made this year. So if anything, well, this will be a part of that. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Yes, indeed. You already know by the title. There it is. All right. And but what to do? What to do? Now let's see here what this thing looks like. Because I've never actually purchased one of these before. I've got the silver version of this. But it is the United States Mint American Eagle 1 ounce gold uncirculated coin. With a limited mintage of 7,000. Which is not terribly low considering the sales figures as I pointed out in the previous video about this. Whether or not be the be the last big hype coin of 2020 or a flop. I decided to go ahead and order it. Not necessarily to see, uh, well, I guess in some ways to see if it would be a hype coin or not. It may take a while to find that out. But let's take a look at it. And there it is. It is the supposedly the last of this design this year in the, for the collector market here. And we can see of this design for this year and what a year it has been. Let's pull it out. There it is. One ounce gold American Eagle uh, with the W mint mark that you see there. That's what distinguishes it from a regular bullion coin. But another thing that distinguishes it from a regular bullion coin is the strike. And that's the thing about these uncirculated coins. They typically have a much better strike and, um, and are more to collector quality. They may even strike them twice and the planchets are handled differently. Burnished is what they call that. They started the uncirculated, selling these uncirculated coins in 2006 um, in each year. In 2019, according to a recent article, they stopped selling them. They were unavailable with... Uh, with about just under 6,000 sold. So why they did that, why they stopped them, why it's still shown as being available, I don't know. But nonetheless, uh, this is 2020, the last year. Will this be a sleeper coin? Will it be an instant hit? I don't know. I haven't checked. But uh, there it is, and uh, it looks great. Now, normally what happens with the uh, uncirculated uh, gold eagles is they typically... Well, they have uneven rims, they're off-center, and the like. But these, uh, even though they have an uncirculated finish, they are better quality. And I can tell by looking at this that that is the case. And so I'm highly inclined just for that reason to keep it. Even though I paid a huge premium for this coin, as you can see on the Mint's website what the price is at the time, that price does fluctuate and will fluctuate as their pricing matrix will be updated every week. And uh, But nonetheless, um, we know that no more than 7,000 of these coins will be minted. And that mint mark tells us that this coin um, is a rarity and is different than the normal uh, gold eagles that you buy uh, in bullion form. So this is most definitely a collector coin. Planchet has been burnished, and you can even tell the uh, the the finish on this is different than what you would find on a normal. It's just got that more of a brushed uh, frosting to it through and through. So it is exceptional, very nice. Obviously, it's not a proof coin, um, and uh, part of me would like that too. But there's no limited mintage on those, although those are not available for sale either right now. So those could be a limited. Uh, coin as well more than likely a lot more of those have sold than this though and uh, but this particular series since 2006 when they started producing these is something that um, has not really been talked about in the community I have not taken any notice about it in fact I really didn't know about it until one of you uh, in the community mentioned it hey what about the gold eagle that's going to be um, a limited mintage you know I'm like they don't do limited mintage for these Turns out they did. They did it for the 
S-minted proof Silver Eagle as well. And that was a 200,000 mintage. Those are starting to come down a bit in price. But nonetheless, anything U.S. Mint, gold, silver, American Eagle, typically do well in the secondary market. Um, and so I kind of bought this somewhat as a speculative, speculative play, so to speak. But you know what? As a collector, the last year of this design, I've got the silver, I've got the gold. Now I may just keep this uh, and eat that loss of the price put in. But more than likely, I don't think I'm going to really lose out. Uh, I do think that even if I wait six months, I could probably could sell this for what I paid for it at the very least. Um, so in other words, I think this is going to hold its value. I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, so be it. Um, but I have a feeling after looking at this and the quality of it, I may just keep it. I mean, uh, now, I would love to know if they're going to come out with one of these uh, next year. Uh, with this design, my guess is not, because this was not released until late in the year, uh, later November. And so my guess is probably they will not produce these. So this will be the last of the uncirculated version of this coin, which started in 2006, of its kind, with the family of eagles design on this particular side so there you have it so uh, this is uh, an American um, icon the United States Eagle gold and silver and this is the last of its design beautiful beautifully struck I think very very nice so uh, post your thoughts in the comment section below about this coin what are your thoughts that little W is the biggest difference that you will see between it and other versions. And uh, what are your thoughts? I've not researched the secondary market for these coins, but do you have any thoughts on previous years? Did I make a mistake? Or was I wise in this decision? My guess is probably it's going to be a very mixed bag with people in the comments of this, but that's okay. I've made mistakes before, and I will make them again. But also... I'm softened that blow a bit because uh, when I bought the the, um, the V75 the Silver American Eagle Proof, um, I sold that and the proceeds from that will go towards some of these recent purchases I've made where I paid hefty and huge premiums. That's all right. I'm paying a, a lot for gold, basically $2,500 an ounce for gold. But who knows? We could see that price for gold come next year, the way things are going. It's hard to say. Anything I will say to make me feel better, I'm going to say it. Gold's going to be $2,500 an ounce next year. So that's going to make me feel better about this purchase. Nah, I don't know what it's going to do. It could fall down to $1,500 either way. I've got to own up to my mistake and hold on to the coin. And that's what I'm going to do. So this is a keeper. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. And encourage you to please rate, share, share comment, and subscribe.